Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Today, let me walk you through active and passive voice. While talking, while speaking, you do make use of active voice. But if you are a reporter, when you want to pen down uh, any of the reports, then in that case, you do make use of passive voice. So what are all the rules to change active voice into passive voice? There are a few rules. The very first thing is needn't worry about tense. That is the change of tense as you people do there in direct and indirect speech. The next one, subject and object, interchange its place. And then you should have known past participle. You should have known about past participle here. That is verb three. And you need to add this particular word by that is by so and so so the agent and then present past tense, past participle that is verb one verb two and verb three you should have known about that one only then you can transform one sentence into another for an example albert broke the slate this sentence is an active voice this is subject that is albert is subject and the slate is object so here Albert, what did he do? He broke the slate. So the subject does something. The subject, who is the subject? Albert. Albert has done something to the slate here. The next one. The slate was broken by Albert. This is said to be in passive voice. See now, you can see a change here. Albert and the slate. Both the words have interchanged their places here. The slate has become subject, whereas Albert has become object here so the slate was broken by albert and one more important thing you need to add this particular word by yes so here something is done to the subject so this is the subject here so something is done to the subject here the slate was broken by albert right then verbs are of two types one is transitive verb and then the other one is intransitive verb. If only the verb is in transitive verb, only then you can transform active into passive voice. Transitive verb, how to identify transitive verb? Transitive verbs, it has got object in a sentence, whereas for intransitive, no object at all. So here, the very first example for you, Ram buys a book. Ram buys a book. So Ram is the subject, a book is the object. So here, now it interchanges its place. A book is bought by Ram. Look at this example, a book is bought by Ram. So buys, the very first thing is you need to look at the verb, which is the verb here, buys. And if it is in simple present tense, buys is simple present tense. So here, what is the formula? Is plus past participle. Is plus past participle. Why, why you need to write down is here? Because the subject is a book singular. If it is in plural form, books, then in that case, you need to go for a bought by Ram. Right? So what is the formula here? Present tense. Yes or yes. You need to go for is or am or are plus past participle so when you get i in the subject you need to go for am then the next example ram bought a book so which is the verb here bought so past tense for past tense what you need to do was plus past participle a book was bought by ram and again if it is books then in that case you need to write down books were bought by Ram. The next one, Ram will buy a book. This is in simple future. Then, a book will be bought by Ram. See, look at the change here. Will buy has been changed into will be bought. Ram is buying a book. See, when you do get continuous tense, present continuous or past continuous, then in that case, you need to add E I N G, that is being, the word being. A book is being bought by ram then ram was buying a book past continuous tense and how to go for a change a book was being bought by ram so here what you need to do 
when you get books then in that case you need to go for books were being bought by ram okay and now the next example ram has bought a book has bought present perfect tense so in that case what is the formula here a book has been bought by ram so a book that's the reason why has singular means has if you do get books then in that case what you need to write down have books have been bought by ram the next example ram had bought a book had bought what tense is this past perfect tense so what is the answer a book had been bought by ram this is the answer and here again you needn't go for any that is you needn't worry about has or have past perfect you will be having had been bought only then the next one ram will have bought a book will have bought a book so this is future perfect future perfect so what is the answer a book will have been bought by ram will have bought will be changed into will have been bought then ram would buy a book ram would buy a book so here this is the conditional clause a book would be bought would be bought by ram see throughout the sentences you can see a, a transformation of buy into bought that is past participle of this base verb ram would have bought a book ram would have bought a book perfect conditional so how can you change this sentence a book would have been bought by ram and when you do get modal verbs can or may might could so on in that case what you need to do a book can be bought may be bought might be bought yes and the next one ram is to buy a book to buy so what is this infinitive in that case what you need to do a book is to be bought by ram a book is to be bought by ram and now if you do get two objects in a sentence the teachers gave books to the children so the very first object is direct and then io and do so direct object and indirect object so here you will be getting two answers books in plural form so books were given see look at the verb here gave so this is in simple past tense so in that case you will be writing was or were since this is in plural form you need to go for where books were given to the children by the teachers then the children were given books by the teachers the subject has been written here in the object object's place right as an agent here so we do get two answers for this one then the next one who teaches you english this is an interrogative type when you do get who the word interrogative word you need to start with this one by whom by whom are you taught english so what is the past participle of teach taught yes so what is the subject you what is the object english by whom are you taught english and one more one more answer for you by whom is english taught to you by whom is english taught to you then verbs followed by prepositions when you do get prepositions you need to retain that preposition here krishna laughed at her so what's the answer her must be changed into she her must be changed into she and laughed is in past tense so you need to go for was plus past participle she was laughed at by krishna you need to write down as by krishna the agent yes the doer of the action by krishna then intransitive words used in imperative sentences intransitive intransitive means a sentence a word yeah a sentence which doesn't have any object at all 
please come here we don't have any object but it is understood someone is telling to someone else here is that not so here you are requested to come here please just because of this word please we need to write down requested you are requested to come here at this infinitive to plus base form you are requested to come here then imperatives look at the imperative sentences here open the door how to transform this one let the door be opened you need to make use of this particular word let let the door be opened yes open must be written as opened be opened another answer the door should be opened the door should be opened the next one speak the truth again for this imperative you do get two answers check it out whether your answers are right if you have written yes pause this video for a while and write it down and then check it out so speak the truth let the truth be spoken the truth should be spoken these are all the answers interrogative sentences that is question type do you see a stranger do you see a stranger how to transform this one so what is this this is simple present tense is a stranger seen by you so here subject and object interchange they are places here is a stranger seen by you what is the past participle of see seen so it is in present tense so simple present tense is a stranger seen by you that had they helped you so what tense is this had they helped you past perfect right had you been had you been helped by them they must be changed into them here had you been helped by them the next one who will receive the letter who will receive the letter so simple future by whom will the letter be received by whom will the letter be received this is the answer then the next one so look at this one tense active and passive so here the chart has been put up simple present tense then in that case you do get by or bys according to the subject then you need to go for is or are am plus past participle so what is the past participle of by what and simple past bought then you'll be getting was or where plus what that is past participle will buy will be bought is or are or am buying is or are am being bought for present continuous and past continuous what you need to do being being you need to add the word being here then present perfect has or have bought so has for singular have for that is i and we when you get i and we then in that case even you you will be having have whereas he she it and any of the names and in that case you need to go for has so what's the answer has or have been bought past perfect had bought or had been bought future perfect will have bought will have been bought conditional would bought would be bought perfect conditional would have bought would have been bought models may or might or can or could plus what then again may or might can or could plus be bought infinitive to buy should be changed into to be bought and you don't have tenses that is passive voice for all these tenses present perfect continuous past perfect continuous future perfect continuous and future continuous you don't have passive voice at all so here if you look at this chart it would be very easy for you to understand it here tense active passive so here barring present perfect continuous past perfect continuous future continuous and future perfect continuous you do have passive voice for all the other eight tenses out of 12 tenses you do have 
passive voice for eight tenses here. And children, I do believe that you must have understood active and passive voice very clearly. If you do have any doubt, please type it there in the comment box. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me patiently. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.